Hey folks, no it's not Monday, yesterday was a holiday so, and I had some other things to do so that's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. This morning while I uh, wait for the WD-40 to penetrate the shower valve and figure out how I'm going to get that valve off so I can fix it and take a shower, I'll go through the 10 sales last week. Last week was actually uh, kind of a slow week for me. But this one episode is going to be a lot of Legos, showing you different various Legos and how they sell differently, amongst a couple other items. But uh, first one here, this is just four little tiny shield pieces from a Lego set. I took a best offer of two fifty for this plus two ninety five shipping, which I made a buck off the shipping. So these four little tiny pieces made me a couple bucks. So, eh, I'm not going to frown upon that. It's still good. Let's see, the next one's an Amazon sale. This is, a, uh, I guess it's a Airsoft, soft air, electronic, uh, shoots a little pellets or something. Holds a 1,500 EBs. It's pretty cool. I actually bought a bunch of them on uh, Tuesday morning clearance upon clearance sale. In the springtime, they just now sold. I sold all three this week for yeah, about that price, 16 bucks a piece. So that was pretty good. Got all of them out of my inventory. Back to Legos. Um, this is also show. Somebody told me I can never get ten dollars for a pound of Legos. Um, here's a half pound. I sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. And it was under, under uh, well, it's a half pound, so it was under 16 ounces. It was actually under 13 ounces, so it went out first class. It was about 11 ounces. And I pulled out white pieces. And it seems they sell them better if I pull them out by the color. So I'm probably going to sort through some of my boxes and group them by color and put them up that way. I have more watchers on it and sold the first bag here. Oh, excuse me while I yawn. Tired. Uh, back to board games. This was a uh, battleship game. I sold pretty damn quickly. Sold, um, I think it was around this price. It was around $18, $19. Complete. It was used. Uh, or I should say it was collectible. So, keeping out for those board games. Battleship games of the newer variety seem to sell. I haven't sold the old blue uh, versions. I, I've Got one up there that it hasn't sold. Back to Legos. These are those. These are late uh, base plates. Uh, base plates sell. I sold these four. I had it listed for twenty-two dollars. I took a best offer of sixteen plus shipping. It went out Saturday. So even if you get a bunch of Legos, if you can get the base plates, they will uh, sell. It may take a while, but they do sell. You can make some good money off those. Sticking with Legos, this was a uh, Ninjago, Ninjago set. I actually found it in the box. Um, the box was thrashed. Uh, it's uh, the bag, one of the bags had a tear in it, so I opened the whole set, put it together. Uh, took the best offer of 20 bucks, I believe it was, on this one. But it was complete with all the minifigs, the book, the stickers weren't even put on yet. Like I said, the book, it was basically new, but it was trash, so I went ahead and opened it up. Uh, did I sell it with the box? No, I sold it without the box. So it kind of shipped pretty cheaply. Four bu or five bucks shipping on it, I made some money on the shipping too. Over to Amazon, I sold that Ninja cake pan. I took an offer of 30 bucks. Even though Amazon, it said it was going for like 100 bucks. I didn't want to mess it with it. If I had wanted to send to Amazon, I was going to have to uh, package it up nice and neat to send it to Amazon in a box and everything. I just put it on eBay. Took the best offer. So I was happy with getting it out of here. What was this? This was a game I found new that uh, I, I never even heard of it. 
phonological awareness fun pack. Got it out for uh, three or four dollars at a Goodwill. Still shrink wrap new. First time I put it on up at Amazon, it wouldn't go because I guess it was brand new to them, so they had to do a uh, hazmat study. So I waited a week, sent it in again, and it went. And I sold it for brand new for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, yeah. I didn't worry about the shipping because it was I never heard of it. I was kind of worried about going too high on it. So it went well, sixty bucks. And then the high end, or somewhat high end, I sold uh, another um, Harry Potter set. This is the one I bought for sixty bucks for f two Harry Potter sets and two SpongeBob sets. Sold this one without the box, or did I ship this with the box? This one I shipped with the box, so it was kind of high shipping. I think I right on the nose shipping, so I didn't make money. But this paid for all the whole four sets, so I made a buck, two bucks off of it, and then all the other sets would be profit, which is good because the next set I sold was the big set, and I sold. I took an offer of two hundred twenty bucks on that, plus shipping, and I sold this without the box. Made a buck on the shipping, and uh, so this is all pure profit, 220 bucks profit. So that's it for the 10 sales of the week. Made a lot of sales on Legos, so profit-wise, it was a good week. Even though I didn't sell a lot, it still was a good profit week. So keep your eyes out for Legos. Sell them as parts, pieces, or whole sets. Um, you will do well. So that's it for this week. I'll see you again on next Monday. Next Monday's not a holiday. So I'll see you then. Happy picking. Hope you find lots of Legos. Hope you make a lot of good sales and make some good profits. See ya.